Hello and welcome back to another episode of Cancer Education and Research Institute, the first and only simplified multi-language global cancer nonprofit organization. It is so wonderful to have you back. Welcome if you are new. Welcome, welcome. Our previous video, how to do a breast self-examination, attracted a lot of attention from you. And thanks to our video, we saved many lives by directing people to take correct actions. With this intense interest, and based on the many questions we have received in our previous video, we came to the realization that we need to break down parts of breast cancer and explain them in separate videos. For example, what are the breast cancer symptoms, what are the risk factors, and many more. So we will do these explanations in separate videos, so make sure you follow us and hit the alert or bell icon so that you won't miss any future videos that we will be publishing in regards to breast cancer and also other cancer types as well. In this video, we will be explaining to you the clinical breast cancer symptoms. Clinical meaning, if you were to go to the doctor, the doctor would also look for these symptoms. So we will be explaining the symptoms of breast cancer in this video. But before we do, we want to explain you very simplified the breast anatomy. That way you can better understand the breast cancer symptoms and breast cancer in general. So now let's get started. Here I draw a very simplified form, the anatomy of the breast. What you need to know is that the breast has mainly two parts. One part is the fat tissue, which you can see here in red, and the other part is the ducts part, which produces milk and transfers the milk from the lobes to the nipples but we will talk about this in a minute so as you can see the breast has a lot of fat tissue this means that when breast cancer occurs the tumor have really a lot of space to expand right for example if we will compare this to brain cancer because we do have our scalp there is not much space for the tumor, for the brain tumor to develop, right? And in terms of the breast, because of the fat tissue, the tumor, the developing tumor can expand a great deal inside the breast. Therefore, you have to do your self-examination regularly to catch the symptoms which we'll be talking about in a minute. So this is very, very important to understand. So now let's continue. So as you can see here in the front, the black is the nipple. And the next to the nipple, the black area around the nipple called areola. Then we have here right the duct that connects to the nipples is called lactiferous sinus. Then we do have the ducts. And we do have the lobes. These lobes will produce the milk and will transfer to the nipple via the ducts and the lactiferous sinus and it gets discharged from the nipple. And we just talked about here that the red part is the fat tissue. Then we have two large muscles the muscle in the front, which is right behind the breast, is called pectoralis major and the muscle behind of it is called pectoralis minor. Pectoralis major and pectoralis minor. And here you can see the ribs. So the pectoralis major and pectoralis minor are these muscles here. And here on the top you would see, which is right here on the collarbone, you will see the lymph nodes. The lymph nodes are right here and also under your arms. So what you also need to know is that when you do your breast self-examination, it has to be done after your menstruation cycle. 
if you see, and we will talk this more uh, in the symptoms, but if you do see any changes in your breast self-examination after your menstruation cycle, then you have one more menstruation cycle to double check whether or not that what you found, the changes that you have found, is also had either persisted or increased. Again, you have one more menstruation cycle. But also, if you do not see any changes, you need to regularly check your breasts with your breast self-examination after your menstruation cycle. Don't forget that. The duct part increases or gets swollen and then deflates uh, after the ovulation because of the progesterone hormone. This hormone is also produced a great amount during the pregnancy. And when this gets swollen, your breast can expand, it can, it can hurt, it, it has some pain. And then after your menstruation cycle is over, then it will also deflate. So it will expand and deflate and can cause some pain. And therefore, as I explained before, you need to do your breast self-examination after your menstruation cycle because of this hormonal changes after the ovulation because of the progesterone hormone, okay? So now let's talk about the symptoms of breast cancer. I will go through very simplified way the symptoms of breast cancer, but I will dive deeper into that, okay? So don't worry about it. I will dive deeper into these symptoms. So if you see a lump, it's a symptom of breast cancer. If you see pulled in nipple, which we we'll talk about in a minute, and then if you see a dimpling, off the skin, if you see it dripping from your nipples, if you see redness or rash on the skin of your breast, or if you see any skin changes. That is all the symptoms of breast cancer. Now let's dive deeper into that one by one. So if you do your breast self-examination, as I said, after your menstruation cycle is over, if you found any lumps or a mass, and there's a difference between lump and mass, and we'll talk about this in another video, so make sure you follow us and don't miss that video. So if you found any lump or any mass, then this is a symptom of breast cancer. If you found it thickening on one of the breast compared to the other, that is also a breast cancer symptom. If you see on the breast skin a dimpling, not in the nipple, but on the breast skin, a dimpling or a retraction which almost appears as if it was pulled in, then this is also a breast cancer symptom. If you see on the breast skin any kind of irritation, redness, scabbing, or erosion, this is also a breast cancer symptom. If you found that there is a swelling with or without redness of the skin of the breast, then this is also a breast cancer symptom, the swelling of the breast. If you have a newly developed nipple inversion, meaning that the nipple is inverted, but newly, which some women is born with inverted nipples, so that's normal for them. But if you found that you have a newly developed nipple inversion, then this is a breast cancer symptom. <laughs> If you found that you have a redness or scaly nipple, then this is also a breast cancer symptom. If you do have a spontaneous discharge from the nipple, which is other than milk, then you must see the doctor. Of all of these symptoms I just explained, you must see the doctor anyway. Again, after your one more menstruation cycle, check if you see these changes. But if you have any discharge coming 
from your nipple that is not milk, you must see the doctor. In our breast self-examination video, as I explained at the very end, you must also check under your arms, right? For any kind of lumps. Here again, the symptom is if you found underneath your arm that there is a lump, then you must also see the doctor. This is also a breast cancer symptom. So I hope this was helpful to you. Thanks so much for watching. If you have any questions, let us know in the comment box. We regularly check our comment box. Like in the previous video, we also answer your questions there. Or if you have a more specific question, a personal issue for you, for your disease or for your symptoms or for your body, then you can contact us through our Siri personalized patient program only available at us. And that way with our program, we can dive deeper into your specific issue and get your answers or solve your problem, whatever it is. Before I let you go, I want you to do three things. One, definitely subscribe to our YouTube channel. Don't miss our next videos. And if you have any requests, definitely write them down in the comment box below. We will check that and we will take that into consideration. If you like this video, give us a big, big like. The second thing I want you to do is share this video. Why? Because you know you can save lives. I mean, with all cancer types, but particularly with breast cancer, right? You must share this video so that everybody, all women, and men can identify whether or not they have breast cancer. Also, definitely send them also the link to our how to do your breast self-examination video so that they can check up both the examination and the symptoms, okay? And number three, it's a gift from us to you. Definitely check us out on our website because on the website there's a gift waiting for you. We have many articles about cancer and also nutrition and healthy lifestyle and diet. You can find these articles and you can read it for free, a gift from us to you. So definitely check us out there. Thank you so much for watching. We will see you next episode. Don't forget to do your breast self-examination when? After your menstruation cycle. Okay? Thanks so much again for watching and we'll see you in next episode. Take care.